Hey guys, how's it going? It's your host, Boogie. Thank you for tuning in on another video. So I'm back again, guys, with another video in the haircutting category. Um, I recently obtained a new piece of equipment. I finally got my razor blade. So I'm going to go ahead and be trying that out today for the very first time. I also have some things working behind the scenes that I'm trying to put together, guys. And I'm also trying to bring great entertainment to you guys. Nonetheless, guys, you guys be sure to let me know how I do in my haircut. Critique me in the comment section down below. Let me know how it looks. Let me know how I do in this video. Nonetheless, guys, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so getting into my video, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the blades onto here and I already oiled the blades on the um, clippers and stuff like that. So this is my little setup right here, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you guys before I had this. Um, and by the way, guys, I just wanna go ahead and say that I haven't watched any videos on this. Um, it's probably dangerous, but it also brings me entertainment, you know what I'm saying? So before this right here, guys, I was working with, with the regular razor. Um, I bought this thing a while back ago, I used it. Um, cause I don't have the trimmer, so I need to go ahead and invest into the trimmer. That's the next thing I'm trying to get. But you know, slowly but surely I'll get there. But um, this is just what I use my homemade products. You know what I'm saying? And stuff that I buy on the side. I got a little small wall. You know what I'm saying? For, for you know, I do other stuff and stuff like that. But um, nonetheless, guys, and I also have just an eyebrow razor. So I would always work. I just what I was working with, guys. You know what I'm saying? Not all of us can afford that great equipment. You know what I'm saying? Not all of us are well invested. And um. Then the next guys, you know what I'm saying, this is a simple part, something you can just pick up at Walmart and stuff like that. Um, I just bought the razor blade and this was just 10 bucks, so you know what I'm saying, if I can get it, I'm pretty sure you guys can get it. Just. But besides that guys, um, I usually just go ahead and freshen up, you know what I'm saying, if I already cut my hair, um, I wait about a month or two before I cut it again. Um, I usually just freshen up, which is like the sides right here, the sides right here, and then um, other than that, I did my hair basically the same. I really don't know how to do that many fades. Um, I really haven't been practicing on other people, so just myself, um, since the time I recorded my last one. If you guys haven't watched that one, you guys be sure to go watch it. I'll put the link in the comment section down below. If you want to check out that video where I actually cut my hair for the very first time by myself. Um, but yeah, I've got a train, you know, so I think it's probably been almost about a year already since my last post. So I've just been doing it by myself, I've been training, you know what I'm saying, and um, I kind of like it, so you know what I'm saying guys, like I said, I do have some things in the works behind the scenes, so hopefully I'll be able to put that together, but um, nonetheless guys, let's go ahead and uh, get into this, so for the first part, I'm just going to go ahead and use a number 8, um, I don't like my hair very short, and um, the short, the, I think number, number 8 is actually quite short, but you know what I'm saying, it's the highest number, um, in this one at least. Kind of sucks when you're... A little blind because you know I don't have my glasses on. Should have my contacts on, but I don't bring them. Should have thought I hit, but on the test, guys, if I have glasses, I feel a struggle, you know? Yeah, you need to be careful sometimes because, you know, you can go to the back. I mean, these spikes right here, bro, if you don't. If you don't watch yourself, this thing right here be stabbing the back of your head right here. Like, bro, we got that little meatloaf part right here. My shit got like a little bump and shit. I got a little bump in the back here, shit. And I got the ball in the back, and the rolls when people be balling and stuff. That shit, you think we digging all up in there and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But, whew. But yeah, guys, back at it. Alright guys, so I'm done with the first part. Basically, I gave myself a number eight all around. Well, this is what it looked like. Still kind of tall for me, still kind of short, but can't see the backside. Um, but last time, the last time I tried to give myself a fade, like an actual fade, man, it didn't come out so well. Um, I tried these right here, the left and right taper, but unless you really know how to use them, um, yeah, them things ain't dummy proof because. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't figure it out, but or maybe, right? Or it is dummy poop because I don't figure it out. Yeah, that's what I mean. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this one right here first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do the line right here where my glasses would be. Same thing over here. Um, last time I cut my hair, I'm so many guys on the other side. Um, came out pretty well. My sister told me that. One side was a little higher than the other. You can kind of tell, but nothing, unless you look at it real close. But you guys be sure to let me know how I do. Um, you guys be sure, you know what I'm saying? Honesty hurts sometimes, but uh, oh well, you know what I'm saying? You learn, and um, you guys know how to do the comment section down below. Um, the only problem I really have with shaving cream is that 
you know, if you don't put it enough, I, I don't really shave like that a lot, you know what I'm saying? I don't really have a lot to shave, you know what I'm saying? But uh, whenever I do use it, I tend to use a lot more than what I have because I underestimate how much of it I'm actually going to use. So I have a lot extra. Also, one, one thing that I would also like to um, be able to get into is the, um, the wrapping of the hot uh, towel around your face um, and that how it actually like makes your pores open up and I guess like, it, it I really don't know how to explain it either but I don't know it's like the chemistry and how it like and basically how it helps and all that stuff but um, whenever I cut this whenever I do it like that after like a day 24 hours 20 hours they can start to feel like the hardness of the like the roughness of your hair Alright guys, so that's what my face looks like after I go ahead and get my shave off. As you guys can see, I have like the cut off, I would say. I have the cut off right here. But then uh, I have to go in again. And this is the part where I would use this one. Only because this one's a thinner line than that one right there. So this one will work a little bit better before. And then um, after that, I would go in with the, the small eyebrow razor to um, give it that fine edge. But now that I have this, my apologies, excuse me. But now that I have this, um, I need to go ahead and be careful and see if I can get myself an even better line. So I'm really looking forward to see how that turns out. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get into the next step. And that is the razor blade. So, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, $10 will give you one blazer blade. The color of you cho you're choosing, and they also have some other ones. You know, I'm just going ahead and went with the white one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the material in it feels pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is aluminum, how you expect it to be, and then the rest is plastic, but it's not like um, how would you say it? I was gonna say not cheap, but it's pretty cheap. Um, it's just like regular plastic, but um, it does the job. It feels sturdy. So uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see if it performs the same way it looks. So, um, yeah guys, so I was just messing with a little bit right now, so I went ahead and opened it, and this is how you have your 100 blades, boom, right there. And as far as the blade right here, I want to take it out of the package, and as you guys can see right there, 10 bucks, remember. So, uh, right here I have this little thing right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just push it forward, and then this thing comes out right there like that. Um, like I said, I have not Googled how to use it. I have not seen other people use it. Um, I've only ever had somebody do it on my head one time or twice that I can remember. Um, but yeah, guys, so this is my first time actually being able to do it by myself. Um, this is not practice. And I do not advise you to do this at home unless you properly know how to use it. Don't be a crash on like me. Two hooks right there on the side. Put the blade, so I just put it right in there. It wasn't really hard. I'm going to go ahead and slide it right back in there. And then I have my thingy. So, the bad part about this regular guy, like I said, you know what I'm saying? I have not, I have not, um, I have not Googled up or YouTube videos on how to use this guy, so I'm going off of my best intellectual, you know what I'm saying? Just for entertainment purposes, you know what I'm saying, guys? So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Let's see how this goes. So, uh, I would really like to use this, you know what I'm saying? Just because I think it would give it to me, but it would make it feel a little bit more smoother. But, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out, guys. Wish me luck. Ho, ho, ho. Alright, guys, so this is my first, my first touch is right there, guys. So, as I go ahead and do it for my first time, my skin is going to pull down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, guys, I went ahead and got myself right there. You guys can see, it's pretty intense. Um, I don't suggest what I did at home. But, if I'm able to hit that line a little bit better, I feel like this thing is pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, the line is pretty straight, just, it's just, man. See that? See that right there? See that? Woo! Let's go ahead and get a little deeper. Man. Oh, I sliced my 
I slice my head up for it. Oh, guys, I think I'm messing up. Oh, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit him. Man. So right here, guys, I'm not sure you guys can see, but right here I have hair missing. So that I, got, I have like a U right here. So it's not like the full patch. And then over here, guys, you guys can see, I have this cut over here has a little bit more. So you go ahead and line that up. But I'm not lefty, so that's my hardest side right there um, besides my back. So hardest things for me to really do is my back, which is number one. I think for everybody. And uh, the hand that you're least most comfortable with. So I'm, le I'm not a lefty, so it's a little bit more harder. But uh, yeah, guys, um, my, my heel right there, I'm starting to feel some air. but. Might be the thumbnail, but let's just uh, see how the rest of this goes. But it's pretty crazy. Um, if I did have that line on though, I will say that the fuzzy hair that I have right here would come out a lot better because I feel like I could just hit it straight and it would, it would exactly cut it off at that exact level instead of having to use like small uh, accessories like these, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't necessarily get it straight in like the T line or what. Sure. So as far as my edge guys, um, you know what I'm saying, that's one thing I think guys are the most vulnerable in is their edge of, um, so, you know what I'm saying, looking for me, mine is not that bad, um, so I just naturally leave it original, I don't actually, like, try to hit it perfect, like the professionals and all that you see them do, um, so, for the fact that I put my hair up too, you know what I'm saying, um, it would be kind of cool if I could, uh, learn how to maybe do myself a little fade right here, a little bit more back, that way I can hit my edge up a little bit more perfect. But um, nonetheless, guys, I don't really do my edge up that much. I just do like little small pushes back. That way, um, I can just cut the little excessive hair and just maybe have a straighter edge. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's kind of like oval, ovalish. My head is like circular and stuff. I think everybody's head is circular, but yeah. Um, so it's a little bit more ovalish. So I just go ahead and push it back a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Just to uh, take away the little baby hairs and stuff. pushing my thing back, I can't seem to get it straight. Um, maybe it's because I need to hit it sideways and not upwards. But, you know what I'm saying, when I finish this video, I think I'm gonna go ahead and you know, just learn a little bit more online, you know what I'm saying, see how their techniques are. But I just wanna go ahead and try it, that way you guys can see my rawest form and uh, I'm using this for my very first time. I don't know how it looks guys, you guys let me know how it looks. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't really like how it looks, but so for the most part, I think this out right here is straight, but I think it's just the way that I'm looking at it and the way that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sure if like, my edge is supposed to go that way and then the line's supposed to look slanted or if I'm just supposed to just bring it straight down, you know, but if you guys can see about this one straight down and this one right here kind of has like the, the curve art right here. I'm going like this, and this is going down. So yeah guys, I think the part that's a little bit more dangerous is me without glasses using this. That doesn't make any of a good combination. But we're gonna go ahead and try it on guys. All right guys, so I tried my best time. So you guys can see, I went ahead and this out of here, I got myself a little right there, and then I think I might've got myself in the air as well. But um, that's how it's looking. You know what I'm saying? This side right here is a straight drop. This one right here, I think if I can go ahead and match them, it might look the same, but it's just, man, look at this. Look what this blade right here cause. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? And I just, man, I don't wanna go over it again cause it's just like, it sucks. I feel like this is good, but it's good to remove like the excessive hair after you've already used the trimmers. Yeah guys, that pretty much just uh, wraps up my hair, you know what I'm saying, little video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, you know what I'm saying, my hair isn't very um, complicated, so I'm a very simple man, you know what I'm saying, I just like uh, simple it all around, and then just a nice edge of you know what I'm saying, so I went ahead and tried 
the race out for the first time. Um, you guys saw, you know what I'm saying, those were my consequences, but um, you live, you learn, you know what I'm saying, you experience new things in life every day, so, you know what I'm saying, it's all worth the proper respect to make better. But uh, nonetheless, guys, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your host, Larry's Boogie. Hope you guys found some type of entertainment out of this, you know what I'm saying? Um, it hurts. Hmm. If I were to throw alcohol in it, it would hurt even more, but, you know what I'm saying, I just thank you all for watching. If you guys made it this far, nonetheless, guys, you guys have a very blissful day. Take care.